Hey everyone, this is Vic, and I'm with VBCPA, or an accounting and tax firm. And so I'm going to show you real quick how to create recurring sales receipts in QuickBooks Online. Uh, with the help of the recurring sales receipts, you can automate your invoice collections for your recurring uh, monthly clients. And it also helps you save time by not having to go to the bank or uh, keep sending invoices to the clients. So uh, here we go. So you go to the gear, click on recurring transactions, and then you want to hit new, and then transaction type sales receipt, okay it, and then here you'll fill out the details for the sales receipt with the client name, um, how often, the banking information. So we'll name the template, uh, we'll just name it the client's name, leave it scheduled, um, you don't have to put how many days in advance. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create this client real quick. And then you want to send the emails automatically each month so the client knows that's how much you're drafting. Leave it on monthly if it's a monthly recurring transaction. You can adjust the interval how, um, how often you need to charge the client. So if you're going to charge them weekly, then you can change it. And then for start date, you want to put 1119. No. Um, here you choose payment method check, enter the banking information, so enter the account number, to what the type of account it is, business checking, consumer checking, routing number, their phone number, and then the name. We usually what the name that's on the bank account. Um, and then leave the box as checked, use this information in the future. And then this is the authorization form in case you haven't gotten them to sign one. I would highly recommend you do that instead of the script, which you would verbally read to them. Um, so you just save it, and it says, great, we save the details. And make sure you check this box that says, I have authorization. Fill out your product service details at the bottom. And then just scroll down, make sure everything looks okay first, and hit save template and then when you go back to your recurring transaction screen you'll see this in that list 